Hi, good day. I'm Mr. Muhammad Zosni Suhaimi, lecturer of dietetic program from Department of Allied Health Science, Faculty of Science, University Tunku Abdul Rahman, Utah. So in this video, I would like to talk about the dietetic program offered by Utah. First of all, let me have a look what's mean by the dietetics. Dietetics is the application of science of nutrition to improve the health and treat the diseases through the construction of the diets and the selection and preparation of the foods. And those who are graduated from any dietetic program from any university, they can be a dietitian. So dietitian is a qualified health professional trained with the skill to provide dietary consultation in relation to medical and health issue to both the healthy individual and also patients. So what do dietitians do? For a healthy person, dietitians will give advices on making proper food choices and educate them on adapting healthy lifestyle. And for patients with health problems and illnesses, dietitians will prescribe medical nutrition therapy or MNT to boost recovery process and to improve special health conditions. Now let me have a look on Utah Dietetic Program. First of all, it is four-year program which consists of 12 trimester. It incorporates a wide ranging scope of knowledge for dietetic practice, including biochemistry, anatomy and physiology, human nutrition, fundamentals of food preparation, the role of nutrition in disease prevention and treatment, and medical nutrition therapy for individuals with diseases. And this program is based at Kampa Campus in Perak State. And it has three intake per year, which are January intake, May intake, and also October intake. Now let me have a look in detail in terms of Utah Dietetic Program structure. As I mentioned earlier, this program is a four-year program which consists of 12 trimesters. Basically, students will learn a wide range of knowledge that require for a dietitian during first three years of their study, followed by one year of professional training during fourth year of their study. Now let me have a look what are the courses that will be learned by dietetic students in the first year of their study. During the first year, they will learn about the basic health science knowledge including anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, immunology, and also microbiology. They also will be exposed to the introduction of food science and nutrition. So they will learn about the type of nutrient exists in the food, the variety of foods, the characteristic of foods, and so on. When come to year two of their study, they will be exposed with the more extensive of nutrition knowledge, including fundamental of food preparation, where they will learn several basic of cooking techniques such as knife handling, boiling, steaming, stir frying, and so on. In second year of their study as well, they will learn about the assessment of nutritional status, where they will learn on how to perform an accurate measurement of height, body weight, body fat percentage, and so on. Another course that we will learn by students is Institutional Food Service Management. Through this course, students will learn about the basic knowledge of food science management in the hospital setting, such as food purchasing, stock management, menu planning, preparation of therapeutic diets, and so on. And if there is a chance, we are going to bring our students to visit any hospital that operating food service at their place so students can observe on how hospital providing the foods to their patients. In their second year of their study as well, they will be trained on how to deliver a good health talk, forum, seminar, and also cooking demonstration. Actually, this is a good preparation for the student to become a competent dietitian in future. Once they become a dietitian, they will be invited to be as a speaker for health talk, panels for health forums, and spokesperson for healthy cooking demonstrations. When come to year three of their study, they will start to learn about the management of all their diseases, where they will learn about the medical nutrition therapy for all the health problems, including medical nutrition therapy for diabetes mellitus, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, chronic kidney disease, cancer, critical ill patient, and so on. Actually, all these MNT guidelines are based on the scientific evidence which has been proved through a series of research by the experts around the world. 
Some of the guidelines are produced by Malaysian Dietitian Association itself and some were prepared by the other country dietitian association. So dietitian, they will use this guideline as their main reference in managing patient cases for all health problems. During the third year of their study as well, they will learn about the therapeutic nutrition. Therapeutic nutrition means nutrition that will improve patient condition or treat the diseases. So there are several types of therapeutic diets that commonly prepared to the patient, especially in the hospital setting, include diabetic diet for diabetic patients, low salt diet for hypertension patients, high protein diet for cancer patients, high iron diet for anemic patients, and a few more types of therapeutic diet for other health problems. Other than that, students also will be teach about the diet counseling. They will be trained on how to have an effective communication skill, how to identify patients' nutrition problems, and how to educate or convince their patient about the dietary and also lifestyle changes to improve patient health conditions. Normally, students will be demonstrated a proper way of conducting diet counselling by the teaching lecturer and it is followed by the self-practice among the students. And when they go for their clinical nutrition training, they are given a chance to deliver a diet counselling to a real patient with a supervision of clinical instructor or teaching dietitians. Alright, now we move to year 4 of their study. Like I mentioned in earlier parts, students will have one year of professional training during year 4 of their study, where they will have three main parts of professional training, which are community nutrition training, clinical nutrition training, and institutional food service management. Basically, students will have seven weeks of training for community nutrition, 14 weeks for inpatient and special units, and another 14 weeks for outpatient and food service management. Alright, for community nutrition training, students can do their training at any community institution such as orphanage home, nursing home, pharmacy centre, fitness centre, National Cancer Institute or at any other community institution. Actually, the main objective of this training is to expose the student to the public and the community and let them communicate with the community and share some of their knowledge that they have learned from the lecture. Next part is the clinical nutrition training. Basically, this training consists of three different parts which are outpatients, inpatients and also special units. Outpatients mean patients that come for treatment but they do not stay inside the hospital or wards. And for inpatient, it's mean patients that come for treatment but they stay inside the hospital in the ward. And for special unit, it's mean those who are that require special attention from the healthcare worker or require more intensive monitoring and advanced life support because most of the patients from these special units are in critical condition. The example of special units ward include ICU, CCU and so on. And the third part of professional training is the institutional food service management. For this training, students will be sent to any kitchen hospital and then they will have hands-on experience on operating food service in hospital setting. Through this training, students will learn about the menu planning, food purchasing and storing, food preparations and food delivery to the patients in the wards. In terms of career prospect, actually dietetic graduate can venture into many areas. They can be a clinical dietitian at any government and private hospital where they have to manage the patient with various health problems with their nutrition knowledge. They also can venture into research and teaching area or to be a lecturer where they will need to do some research constantly and do some teaching for undergraduate and postgraduate students. But for this one, students need to further their study into master degree or PhD first before become an academician. They also can work with the sport and fitness center like they can work with the National Sport Institute as a sport dietitian or they can work as a dietitian at any sports school around the country. Yes, they also can work as a community or freelance dietitian where they will be invited to give health talk or seminar and they will get some payment for their jobs. 
They also can work with the food industry or food company like Nestle, Yakult, Dutch Lady and so on. Nowadays, most of the food company, they also try to produce healthy food products and for sure they will require some advices from dietitian and nutritionists to make sure that their food products are healthy and safe to be consumed. Dietetic graduates also can work with the food service company like Besta, Mas Awana, Segisri and some of the other food service company. So this company actually, their main business is providing the foods including the hospital food to the hospital which do not provide the food by themselves. For sure, this company will need some expertise from the dietitian to plan the menu for their hospital food productions. In terms of market demands, the need for dietitian is still high in Malaysia because nowadays there are many private hospitals and clinics has been established around the countries. So one of the expertise required by them is the nutrition expert to give the nutrition consultancy to their patients. Last one in terms of the payroll or salary for a dietitian. Normally they will receive around 3,000 to 3,500 ringgit per month for the fresh graduates and around 4 to 5,000 per month for the experienced one. Alright, if you are interested to know more about this program or you need further information, you may reach Utah Division of Program Promotion through their website, email or phone number. I think that's all from me. Thank you.